Let's talk about hands in a movie not about hands, like that final fight in Undercover Brother. Undercover Brother was an action comedy in 2002, bringing back the 70s black exploitation style of movie, a genre all about fighting the man and karate, starring the main man Eddie Griffin. Now this was during peak Eddie Griffin. Mans truly had an underrated great run in his prime. I'm talking about from the Deuce Bigelow's, Double Take, Malcolm and Eddie, The New Guy, My Baby's Daddy's, Classic, and all of his comedy specials. Peak Eddie was a beast. In this movie, he plays as Undercover Brother, a rogue Afrocentric agent set out to defeat the man and his minions. Before the final fight, we can thank another comedy legend in Dave Chappelle, upping the stakes by letting his inner child needing to press buttons come out. Atomic Corey. See what this so-called button does. Attention, Atomic Core set to overload. My bad. If you want to know what Dave Chappelle's What's role up? was in this movie, What's up? this is pretty much it. Struggle is up, brother. Oppression is up, brother. Salami, eggs, and bacon. Nigga, what? Now that the stakes are raised, Undercover Brother and his crew must escape before things get hotter than when you burn your lip on a Hot Pocket. While his friends escape, Undercover decides to settle things with the bad guys once and for- <laughs> <laughs> This man, Chris Catton, was a gem in itself in this movie. We start this chase with the most flyingest flying kick that me, you, and even Eddie has ever seen. Once he finally lands, he mixes that up with a nice sweeping leg, finishing last buddy with a mean four piece combo from Popeyes. Real quick, gotta replay how smooth that chop was after the right left before throwing that night night. Lovely combo. Then, for no reason, gives this man the most. What's the new phrase? The most diabolical fatality ever. Mans don't get paid till next Friday and use his last car change for that bag. Truly savage. Just bought those. Sorry about that. Once he catches up with the man's right hand man, they do their final bring it gestures while the actual movie is using Michael Jackson's beat it to set the mood. The actual scene is lit as hell to be honest. Once Eddie finally serves Buddy, the fight officially begins. Undercover misses the flying kick but weaves the right hook to deliver a right left to the body, followed by a vicious cross. Real quick, let's appreciate the appreciation this movie gives to Bruce Lee when Undercover Brother walks this man down. He follows that combo with another weave to a leg sweep. Then the right hand gets a good hit in with a damn flying crane kick, rocking Undercover. Call that man daniel -san. They get back to scrapping until Undercover hits him with a spin kick so hard that he hits backflips like he's getting ready for a pep rally. And now he's pissed. So now, with the big baddie having two blades on his arm like a Wolverine from Timu, Undercover gets on his track shoes and try to survive the round. And the bad guy was actually in his bag until man's violated cultural laws. Hey yo, cue the DJ scratch. Oops. <laughs> the movie was actually still jamming to Mike's song and even the song went. <laughs> you mess with the fro? You got to go. Oh, it's a rap now as Undercover hits him with a flick jab, then a flock of uppercuts to a mean left hook. This is where Undercover says, I got more Bruce Lee for that ass. Well, A for effort. But Undercover Brother tricks him as Buddy is now completely defenseless against this jab, bing, cross jab, bing, bing. And a backhand so rude, his mom heard that from across the world like, <laughs> Now it's time for the finish. Yeah! 
the bad guy tries to get away. But once again, Undercover is just absolutely oh, as he literally sticks it to the neck. Buddy needed that Batman shark repellent. Well, that's all for now. Eddie Griffin wasn't exactly an action star, but I appreciated his hands in this movie. Hope you enjoy these quick hands for today. Until next time, like if you like the video, subscribe if you like the content. Until next time, y'all be easy.